thank you for being with me today. I would like to talk about mushrooms. You know, there's varying kinds of mushrooms, but the type I'm talking about are the medical mushrooms. There's a company that I had the privilege of going to um, an educational talk, and it was called Host Defense Mushrooms. We will be um, carrying some products in this line, and um, that will be included in part two of this talk. So today I'd like to talk about, um, like I said, about the products. And the nice thing about host defense mushrooms, they are certified organic, non-GMO, grown in the USA in uh, Washington State. And they are sustainably cultivated, are harvested at peak efficacy. They are freeze dried. Um, they have genetic ma matches and the capsules contain prebiotics and these products are utilized in clinical and in vitro studies. So you'd say, why do I want to look at, why would I want to take uh, mushrooms? Mushrooms are functional foods, and that means that they can really help your, um, you know, overall well-being um, to your body to function. There's, it supports a, a variety of nutritional um, body systems, augments the body's immune system. That's usually where a lot of people hear about mushrooms is for the immune system. Um, they, are, they provide building blocks at the cellular levels. They contain enzymes to support digestion and assimilation. They contain polysaccharides, which is um, sugars and uh, broken down to increase the activity of the NK killer cells. Now, NK killer cells are one of the first lines of defense of your immune system. And they neutralize free radicals, which reduces um, inflammation and they support stress and fatigue. So um, the reason why I really like this, um, this group of mushrooms is they, they are GMO, genetically, you know, not genetically modified, et cetera. And there are three different cycles of the mushroom life cycle. The first one is mycelium. And mycelium, if you look, think about mycelium, it's just the root of the mushroom. It's like the, the weave below the surface. And the immune system of the mushroom um, offers amazing diversity of beneficial um, constituents. Then there's the fruiting body, which you usually see what sticks up above the ground. And this is the reproductive stage, and it provides beta-glucans. Beta-glucans are what's really important for your immune function, and that's been shown um, many times in different literatures. Spores represent the seeds for regeneration. So depending on the uh, species and the intended use, um, this company, Host Defense, utilizes a unique combination of the life stages. And one of the things that they do, they actually, uh, the, the mushroom is grown on, or on the brown rice and actually some wood. So I'll talk about that. So organic rice is a, an excellent substrate, and so a substrate is an organism um, in which the material on which an organism lives, and that's for mycelium. Remember, mycelium is like the under the growth of uh, the roots underneath the mushroom itself. So these enzymes are um, expressed, and that breaks down the brown rice, and there's a compound called arabinoxylans, um, and they form from simple sugars in a starch. And this is just part of this process of, of, the, uh, of the mushroom. In addition to the arabinoxylans, mycelium contains a wide range of compounds, enzymes, prebiotics, antioxidants to boost the immunity. The wood that I was talking about was the red alder wood and um, sawdust, and that's to make the fruit bodies, remember the main part of the mushroom, um, grow. And fruit bodies contain complex cellular structures that contain polysaccharides like beta-glucans. Remember, that's, a lot of research has been done on that for your immune support. So they, they found that the mycelium, if you look at it, it's combined together with the brown rice. And it almost, it's a similar um, comparison to yogurt and probiotics in yogurt, how you know dairy yogurt has a lot of probiotics in it, the same thing that, that happens here. But the mycelium has 25% more genetic material in um, the mix at this stage. 
So they do all this laboratory in clean rooms with uh, mycelium and the fruit bodies, and they're enclosed, and it's all uh, quality assurance tested. Then they freeze dry them, and then they um, grow them on the substrate. is grown anywhere from 21 to 95 days, depending on which um, mushroom they're, they're looking to grow. There has been a debate, and they always say the fruit bodies are the best. You know, why would you use mycelium? And so the founder of um, Host Defense Mushrooms, Paul Stamets, and his team partnered with the Natural Immune Systems to clarify the immune enhancing effects of growing um, these mushrooms with mycelium. And they used um, three products. It's called My Community reishi mushroom capsules and agaricon uh, mycelium capsules. And they confirmed that in this testing that the innate immune cells were increased, which is your immune system, of course. It activates the white blood cells for immune strength, and it regulates immune cell compounds for a ballast immune response. So as this mycelium grows through the brown rice, it produces a near inseparable uh, matrix of the brown rice with the mycelium and the um, product that's within that. So testing has verified that mycelium and cultured rice substrate are both immunologically active. And this was also done with an, um, an NIH study. So when they say that you cannot get the immune component only from the fruit bodies, that's been debunked here by this company. So stay tuned for part two of the products that we are going to carry. And I look forward to helping you with your health. Give me a call if you need any help with that at all. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. If this information was helpful, hit that thumbs up button down below. If you want more videos like this, hit the subscribe button down below, then ring the bell next to it. Also, if you know other people that you would want to share this link with, please do so because I would love to help them on their journey to good health.